I'm Nicole and I'm here to tell you about iguanas. Another common problem with iguanas would be the loss of the tip of the tail. Um, a lot of this happens because of inadequate shedding where they retain skin on the tip of their tail or poor circulation which is usually caused by too much whipping. Um, if the iguana is not provoked much to whip then this is unlikely to be the cause of the dying of the tip of the tail but it's a very common problem and sometimes if it's bad enough it's going to need to be removed by a veterinarian in order for it to heal properly. Now a lot of people don't know where to find a, a veterinarian for a reptile but to tell you the truth you can just call your local vet that you do know and ask who if they know of any veterinarians in the area that have a herpetological background and any vet should be able to tell you of at least one person in the area that is able to work on your reptiles. Also, another common problem is the broken toes. Iguanas have very long toes, as you can see, and a lot of times these will become deformed or broken, and or a lot of times they look broken when they're not because they can bend in several different directions. Now, they also are prone to losing their claw at the tip of their toe. Um, this iguana is actually missing one of his claws on this back hind leg here. The t losing the nails is not necessarily dangerous for the iguana. Um, if it's kept in captivity, it doesn't need it for the defense part of it. But it, it may cause an infection if the tip of the toenail is ripped off. But other than that, it usually heals fairly easy. Uh, really simple and just looks like a toe without a nail. It's n very rarely going to be threatening for the iguana at all.